Previously on Beanie Boo Survivor. Don't worry, Chica. I'll make sure Sissy doesn't win. Uh, it's not cheating. It's strategy. Oh, get over yourself. It's cheating. If it was for high school, then wouldn't it be called the HFL? Coming up on Beanie Boo Survivor. I I, I didn't vote him, but, but I know who did. I would have never voted him off. And I am your true ally. Noodles? What? what? Noodles? 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 Did, did he just go unconscious? This is Beanie Boo Survivor Reloaded. Oh, girl, aren't you like so glad that our girl Alliance is keeping us safe? Yeah, I am. It's a nice change of pace to feel safe in this game for once. Yes, girl. Cobalt was so smart for creating it. <sighs> it just makes me wish that Speckles is still here. You know, before he was kicked off, he was a part of our Alliance. Aw, oh, that's so sad. Well, I guess the team just did not think he was worthy enough of keeping. Yeah, I just don't get why he was voted off. Speckles was voted off because Prince was jealous of him and I, and the vote was split 4-3, to three, meaning that everyone except Cobalt and myself voted for him. Wait, but, but Lola was on her team, and right now she's sympathizing with me. D did Lola vote Speckles off? <laughs> did he ever say that he, like, likes you, or that, or that he loves you? Uh, it's nothing serious, just uh, romance. Romance, huh? Well, why bother winning the million bucks when you won the man? <laughs> Okay, girl, listen up, girl. So last week, Cobalt told me that she voted off Speckles, and she did it to keep Tasha close. So you really think that this girl alliance could win it? Duh, we'll all make it to the final four. But only three of us can make the finale, girl. We can just drop Atlas. I know you don't like her anyways. She knows a little too much about this game, girl. I know, right? Well, at least she isn't a pushover like Tasha is. Pushover, but but Tasha just won the last challenge. Believe it when you see it, girl. <gasps> OMG, Lola, I have to tell you something. It's a secret. <gasps> a secret? <gasps> tell me. Remember when Tari and Sissy decided to vote Speckles for losing the PvP challenge? Yeah, but what about it? Well, I voted on Speckles too. And I made it seem like Prince did. <gasps> you voted with us? Why? Duh, so I could keep Tasha close. She was starting to gravitate towards him more, and I couldn't allow that. Smart move, right? Oh, yeah, go real smart. The only reason I made that side deal with Cobalt to eliminate Prince was because Sissy and Tari were leaving me out of things. But Cobalt clearly prioritizes her bond with Tasha more than her bond with me. I can't allow that. Don't you think it's weird that Hugo got eliminated for no reason again? I don't get it either. I wonder if, if Cobalt did it. Yeah, me too, girl. But wouldn't she have targeted you? I have no idea, but we need to reconvene this alliance, girl. I think we lost Lola's vote. She barely talks to us anymore. Oh, I'm done with Lola. She trashed the last challenge. Which is why we need to win this next challenge. What challenge? The one that we're going to destroy you in? Uh, says the girl who lost to a grilled cheese, I think not. Oh, well, I'm not the one who lied about being a cook to pander to a TV audience and then cried about it in the bathroom. Is arguing really necessary? Shush, Tasha. Don't try and tame the line over here. Excuse you? You just came up to me with your whole pack of hyenas. Okay, womp womp, cry about it. Leave my friends out of this. Yeah, stay in your own lane, you, you, uh, you bad driver. The effort was there. Oh, go cry about it to your boyfriend. Oh, wait, he got voted off. Oops. <gasps> And y'all get to see him very soon! Look what you did! Tasha, come back! Keep on running! Ugh, let's go. Sure, okay. Her boyfriend was voted off in a stupid way. I thought it was funny. Oh, really? Yeah, that was the one time that Cobalt was actually outnumbered. <gasps> Lola, did you vote her boyfriend off? I, uh, ooh. 
for the record, Alice is the last person I would confide to at this camp. If she finds out that I voted off Speckles, she'll get into Tasha's head. If you did, it's okay. I know that something must have been up anyways because Sissy should have been the one to go home. But she didn't. Do you know why? I I, I didn't vote him, but, but I know who did. Really? Who? <sighs> I'm so sorry, girl. Come out. <gasps> Actually? She, she had to. She told me that she needed to keep Tasha close to her, so she tricked everyone into thinking that Prince wanted her off. Harsh, but hey, I get it. A million bucks is a million bucks. I vowed that someday I would find a way to break this alliance and ruin Cobalt for what she did to me. And thankfully, Lola started to crack. Guess that chick isn't as crazy as she makes herself out to be. Welcome back, campers. There are only 10 of you left. Woo, final 10. Today's challenge is a simple one. Since Owen never got proper retaliation for almost being killed by you guys in episode 3, and then subsequently being beat up by Lola in episode 10, she's in a play hide and seek with you guys. Oh yeah, baby. You will all have three minutes to hide around the camp. Then we're gonna send out Owen to find you all. She's going to be at least somewhat gentle, right? Uh, wrong! Since the Stones of Safety have played such a huge part in the theming of this season, we've decided that they're now going to be the Stones of Pain! Uh, I don't like the sound of that. I highly recommend that you cover your face, neck, torso, and any other valuable bits if you're found. A stone in the wrong spot could seriously mess you up. Eh, I've dealt with worse in jail. The last person to be found by Owen will win immunity and one of the losers will be sent home tonight. On your marks, get set, run! Oh my god! <sighs> Should we stick together? You know, watching each other's backs and whatnot. We're always together. It'll be fine. I don't think I played hide and seek since I was like, I don't know, nine. <laughs> you better not suck at this then. Hello, I'm the class valedictorian. I don't think that someone with a perfect GPA would suck at very many things. Believe what you want. Oh, I'll believe it all right. Ugh, it's too windy for me to process that. So, don't you think that we could like, you know, make an agreement, a mutual connection of trust? You voted off Holly. You betrayed my girlfriend. You tried to betray me. And you've been meeting me the whole season. And you want to team up with me now? Yeah, no. Oh, come on, don't hold a grudge. Since Hugo was kicked, I'm worried that I might be next. I've been trying to get in good with people, but they act like I'm a bad person. Ugh, the audacity. Guys, should we just stay here? I mean, if Owen finds us, we can just scatter and she won't be able to get us all. What, and just sit here and wait for our impending deaths? We need to split up. I seriously could have gotten voted out last round over that stupid grilled cheese that Tasha made. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to have an alliance, but... I'm not gonna let them drag me down again. I'll stay here since I found this spot first, but the rest of you, shoo. But we could try and- Tasha, zip. Owen could hear us at any moment and pummel us. Now we all need to split up before we're all kicked. It's for the better of our alliance, Tasha. Let's go. Fine, okay, I'm sorry, let's go. Okay, bye-bye now. <laughs> Cobalt, this is urgent. What, what's up? We need to break Atlas out of our alliance now. Why? What's happening? She- she just can't stay! Relax! We're going to dupe her at the final four anyways. Besides, the others could outnumber us and vote us off if we drop Atlas right now. You really think that we can last to the final four? If we play our cards right, yeah. Once Atlas is kicked off in semifinals, Tasha will instantly crumble without a voting ceremony to skirt by, and you and I can go head to head. Oh, okay girl. Well, I'm gonna go hide, so I'll catch you later, chica. Stay safe out there. It's Owen we're dealing with. If we can't have Atlas in our alliance, then I need to find somebody else. <sighs> I wonder if the three minutes are even- oh! Hey Cholo, what's up? Um, why are you here? You said you don't like Baxter, right? Well, nobody does. Good! Vote for him tonight, trust me. Not sure why I would trust someone who's absolutely mental, but I don't disagree with her. How about you hide in these woods and I'll camp out nearby? Yeah, but first we should- Oh, or maybe we can climb a tree and establish a spy post so we can see Owen coming. But I need to talk to you about- Or maybe we could dig a ditch and- Tasha! We need to talk. Like, girl talk. What? What do you mean? I is everything okay? D don't worry about me. I'm fine. But aren't you sad about what happened to Speckles? What? Oh, yeah. It, it still upsets me. He never made the merge. I would be upset too. Speckles and Prince got into an argument at the reunion, you know. Wait, what? 
An argument about what? I, I can't. I've said too much. It doesn't matter. But, but he's my boyfriend. I out to know what he fought about. Was it physical? <laughs> Tasha, I should have told you earlier, but, but I didn't want to hurt you the way everyone else has been. The way everyone else has been? Prince didn't vote Speckles off. <laughs> Cobalt did. What? 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 I've said too much. Cobalt betrayed Speckles? She told me herself. She said that she did it because she was jealous of you guys' relationship and she framed Prince. But she always said that she would look out for me. She forced me to keep it a secret, but, but you're just too nice for me to not tell you. Oh, and Lola voted him off too. No, please. This, th this can't be real. Did my closest ally vote off my boyfriend? Just know, Tasha, that regardless of our alliance and how we're allies, I would have never voted him off. And I am your true ally. I get it now. You can't tell anyone, though. We need to keep this alliance together until at least we have the numbers to eliminate one of them. Tasha's not going to stay quiet for maybe more than a day. Breaking Cobalt and Tasha apart will be the crack that makes Cobalt's whole scheme collapse. We vote her and Lola off, and then I just double-cross everyone else until it's me and Tasha in the final two. And since Tasha sucks at anything challenge-wise, it's hello million dollars for me! I told you, I know how to play this game. The three minutes is up. Owen, you may begin your hunt now. It's my pleasure. Who's there? Just, just the camera crew, okay. I just have to hope that Owen goes after a more appealing target and not me. Ugh, thank God I'm an owl and I can just climb the trees. I can just nest myself right here. You know who else is an owl? Me. Ow! Ah! She's an owl too, and I forgot that! I don't get why I can't confront them about voting Speckles off. Think about it, Tasha. If you do, our alliance will fall apart and the others will all pick us off one by one. And now I've picked you out of this challenge. Ow! 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 Dude, stop! Ugh, ow! So, who are you thinking we vote for tonight? If Atlas loses again, vote her. But Cobalt has barely skated by on every single elimination. Sissy has as well, you know. Well, you could say that Baxter has too. We'll be fine, and neither of us have even come close to getting voted off. I don't think we've even received any votes. Well, yeah, because neither of us suck at life or whatever. I treat life like an ocean wave. Sometimes they're torrential, but the water's always eventually calm. That's why I'm so morally ambiguous. <laughs> I don't think that's really... What do you treat life like? Uh, like a test that I need to get a perfect score on. So I can get into a good college and find a good job and find a boy girlfriend to support myself. What? Oh my god. Did I just hear him say what I think he said? <coughs> wow, I think a bug just flew into my mouth. Dude, my throat went super dry. Uh-huh. Did you just say that? Don't I do that? But I was- <laughs> What? Oh wow, just wow. You're listening to this too? What? Ah! Haha, <laughs> gotcha girl! <laughs> Noodles! Oh, look over here. Two more targets for me to catch as well. Oh, dude, really? <coughs> noodles? Uh, noodles? 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 Did, did he just go unconscious? Eh, I don't know. Beats me. Cobalt, she found you? I was in a tree and she snuck up on me. Oh, same here. She got us found too. <laughs> um, what's up with him? Just a small little concussion. He might be out of his element for a day or two, but he'll be fine. To come back to camp and see that Tasha and Atlas were already found? Ugh, Lola better win this one. I could try and realign with Baxter. We had a short agreement until the team swap. At this point, just go for it, girl. We need all that we can get. Okay, I'll go find him. You stay here and hide. Okay, you got it, girl. God, it feels like it's been forever since this challenge started. How much longer till it ends? Not for long. Ow! Ow, you wanna try me, huh? Baby, don't even try. Why'd you have to throw the whole bag at me? You could've just thrown a few stones. Ugh, why do I feel like I'm being watched? Ow! 
Aha! Ugh, must have just been the stupid camera crew. Oh, that was so close, girl. I am so good at playing hide and seek, girl. Back when I was in the ward, I snuck out every single night to nap some comida from the fridge for me and my chica, Perla Francine. Well, that was until she went berserk and started throwing furniture in my head and they moved her to a different room. And then I got bored with no roommate, so I just left one night and never came back. I am so winning this. If it weren't for the million, I would have already escaped this godforsaken campsite by now. Baxter, I found you! Ah! Ow! What was that for? Don't sneak up on me like that. I thought you were Owen. Yeah, I figured. Anyhow, you should join Sissy and I's alliance. Really? Why should I? Considering that you almost broke my nose, it'd be the nice thing for you to do. Ugh, fine. I'm in. Truth is, I'm glad to have an alliance again. I just didn't want Tari to think that I was weak or something. <laughs> There's only three people left. Tari, Lola, and Baxter. Whichever one of them doesn't get found will win immunity for today's challenge. You're not even talking to anybody. It's called narration. Duh. Whatever. Hey, Alliance buddies. Lola better win this, am I right? Yeah, I'd hope. So, uh, since we're the girls' alliance, which boy should we kick off tonight? Maybe muddles or noodles. They're like best friends. And if one of them gets eliminated, the other will instantly crumble, so that's two people out of the way. My plan for tonight is to vote off noodles. Without his little friend hanging around, muddles will instantly crumble, and that'll make him easier to manipulate. So I'll make him join me. Then I'll expose Cobalt for voting off Speckles and make her and Tasha fight. That's three votes on my side, and I only need five to get Cobalt out. I know that Sissy will vote for Cobalt, so all I have to do is convince either one of Baxter, Austin, or Tari to do the deed. Five. Bye-bye, Cobalt. But having two votes that we can pocket is better than none. Muddles and Noodles always vote together. If we can convince them to join us, they can serve as a buffer in case things go wrong for us. Well, as if that would happen. <laughs> but shouldn't we try to- I've been watching the two of them and they could be pretty useful in the long run. I'd say they're better suited for fifth and sixth place. After hearing their questionable little conversation today, I seriously think that Muddles and Noodles could benefit my game. If I could get dirt on the inseparable besties, ooh, that'd just be great. Look, we need to vote off Cobalt tonight. I think she was the one who got Hugo eliminated last round. You're kidding, right? I tried to align with him, but he was too dumb to do anything useful. Exactly. I think that she might go for Sissy this time around, so we need to dupe her and fast. If you, me, and Sissy vote for her, that's already three votes. One or two more and we can seal the deal. Lola is so super weird, so I don't think it's worth trying to convince her. Muddles and Noodles could be useful, but they're always on their own, so I don't know. And that just leaves Austin- Shh, get down! <sighs> that was close. Either way, we need to vote for her. Are you sure she's gonna go for Sissy, though? She always acts like she will, and then someone else gets the boot at the last second. If it isn't Sissy, then it's gotta be Muddles or Noodles. Have you noticed that the two first merge boots were the two strongest guys? Are you saying I'm not strong? Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up, all right. Ow! You lunatic, how did you find us? Because you couldn't keep your mouths closed, that's why. Did you convince him? Yes, he's voting for Cobalt tonight. I'm working on Muddles and Noodles. We can definitely pull this off. It seems like Owen has found two more victims. We were victims of violence. Since you both got yourselves eliminated, that means that the last person remaining and the winner of today's challenge is Lola. <gasps> yes, Lola won. Wow, isn't that so great? Yeah, totally. I don't even know what to say. I really wish that we could vote for Noodles tonight, but I have to listen to what Cobalt says. That's not a problem though, because Cobalt is my bestest friend in this game, and she was right about not voting for Noodles tonight. Hmm, I guess she's gotten over it. You're right, I think she was spying on me. See what I mean? She is no good. Yeah, I had to change my tone at the last second, so that way I would be agreeing with what she thinks. But our only choice is voting with this alliance. There's four of us and six of them. We could be easily outnumbered if we split right now. You should go and tell Kaba and Lola a bunch of stupid things to trip them up. And when they reply all moronic to those stupid things, you should totally come and report it all back to me. I don't know. Being mean to her won't make my life any better. She voted off your boyfriend, Tasha. Why are you being such a pushover? I'm sorry, I just- okay, okay. Right, I'll tell you everything. Don't you think it's so ridiculous that Baxter has made it this far? Like, he's so rude and stuff, girl. I know, right? It's kind of giving- my dad walked out on me when I was five. Right? It's so ridiculous. 
once he's out, who should we go for next? That's something we'll figure out later. Besides, all three of us need to get to the finale together. But what about Atlas? She's part of the Alliance too. True, but where are the OG members of this group? She kind of joined late or whatever. Right, uh, <laughs> OMG, she's like so weird to me, always talking to me about this show nonstop. Is she still hung up on her obsession with this place? She really is. You know, she told me that she wants to build a secret shrine for Crunch in the woods so that her and I can go pray for good luck. <laughs> Ew! Mm, she really say that? It's Atlas, duh, of course she did. Did she say anything else? Oh, she also told me that her mom has a secret stash of magazines from the 90s when Crunch was still young and handsome, and they have love affirmations written all over them. That seems weird for someone like her. <laughs> that is vile, dude! Oh my god, a shrine in the woods? Magazines with manifestations? She is a class A nutcase. <laughs> Do we all agree that we're gonna vote for Cobalt tonight? Yeah, I'm down. Me too. She gave Noodles a concussion. Dude, I wish I saw that. Once Noodles comes to, I'll tell him that we're voting for Cobalt. Ah, uh, good to hear, girl. In the meantime, we need to make it look like we're gonna vote for Atlas tonight, so that way they think they're safe, and then that way they're all thrown off whenever the elimination ceremony actually comes. Yeah, I get that. Cobalt, I hope you know that I'm not a funny ha-ha type of person, so for you, it is game over. Welcome back to the Elimination Ceremony, everyone. Ten of you sit here tonight, but only nine of you can move on to the next round. Now, who here has screwed up the most today? Baxter, you punched Tari in the face. What? That was an accident! It's fine, I understand. Cobalt, you gave Noodles a concussion. Oh, shut up, he's fine. <laughs> if he's seriously injured, you could be put back in jail. I gave him ibuprofen and crackers, he's got all the help he needs. Okay then. Noodles, you don't even know where you are right now. Were you even expecting a response? Whatever. And Austin, you were found first. How pathetic. How is that something worth eliminating me for? I don't know, I just thought it was dumb. It's voting time, everybody! Remember that Lola has immunity tonight and someone will soon be headed out. You voted off my girlfriend, my girlfriend's best friend, bullied me mercilessly, and still tried to make an alliance with me? Yeah, you're done. We have five people voting for Cobalt tonight. There is no way we'll be outnumbered. Bye bye, loser. You might have betrayed my trust, but voting you off is the easy way out, and I'm not going to let it be easy. Ugh, that other alliance is still targeting me. So I can't just go and vote off Cobalt because if I do that, then I'm gonna get myself eliminated. Uh, do not worry. Uh, do not worry. I am still alive. Alive. Uh, the world is spinning a lot. Campers, if you do not receive a stone of safety, you will be immediately ejected from the game. With that being said, the first stone of tonight goes to... Lola! Oh yeah, I eat it, that's so bad, girl. The next stone goes to... Tari! <gasps> yes! This camper somehow did not receive any votes at all tonight. Atlas, you're safe as well. Uh, wait, what? Muddles, you're safe as well. Oh, phew. Sissy is also safe with no votes. Uh, no votes? Where's you guys' spirit? Austin, you're also safe tonight. Oh, thank the lord. And the final person to receive no votes tonight is... Tasha. <gasps> all right! Baxter, Cobalt, and Noodles, you all received votes tonight. What? People voted for Noodles? The next person safe with one vote is... Noodles! <laughs> no, no, noodles, no, the stones are over here. Sorry, a little disoriented. It's okay, I got you, I got you. 
Cobalt and Baxter. Both of you caused injuries to other campers today. Well, some worse than others, but you get the point. And now, one of you is headed home. This is ridiculous. Owen is the one who caused that concussion, and not me. You could have just landed on the ground instead of on noodles. What? And injure myself instead? Please. One of you received four votes, and the other received five. And thanks to Noodles for voting himself tonight, the final person safe is... Cobalt! What? Oh, thank God, yes! <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second, what? Ugh, good God! I have to say, considering how much you suck at anything that doesn't involve prison cells or alpha male podcasts, you made it pretty far. Yeah, and when I go back to jail, you can be my cellmate, Twinkle Toes. Harsh. Just get me out of this godforsaken place already. Alright then, if you insist. <laughs> Am I surprised to be voted off in a manner like this? No. Do I believe that some of those people have no right lasting longer than me? Oh yeah, for sure, but I don't care. Just put me back in an environment where people don't gossip like little girls. They all banded together against Cobalt and didn't tell me? I just missed the perfect opportunity to vote her off! Ugh! And with that, only nine players remain in the game. Who will survive, who will thrive, and who will take a deep, deep dive? Find out when we return on the next episode of Beanie. Boo, Survivor, Reloaded.